Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back at home, man. Yeah, got a box. Can't, I, I tell you what, I, I get so excited when I get a new grill. And this one is from Smoke Daddy Inc. It's a Pellet Pro uh, 770. And one of the first things, without even opening it up, folks, one of the first things I always look at when I get something new, like a new grill, is I always look at, well, what does this thing really weigh? And you can see that this thing in the box is 148 pounds. So take off the cardboard and the styrofoam. This is a 145 pound grill. And that what kind of tells me without even opening it up, that this has got to be a pretty quality product. So I'll tell you what, let's get this unboxed, put it together, and I'll give you a look-see as we proceed. You stay tuned. Well, there she is out of the box. I'll tell you what, what a, oh, I'll tell you, I just love that new girl smell, don't you? Look at that hopper. You're saying, how big is that hopper? That's like a 30 pound hopper, folks. Nice instructions. And you know what? Look at that. Who else has given you that? Uh, they sign, they inspect everyone. It's got the initials of the person who signed, who did the inspection. They got a three year and seven year warranty on those things. And I'll, I'll tell you what, folks, Smoke Daddy Inc., visit them online, family owned business. I'll tell you what, let's continue on with the assembly. So far, I am very impressed. All right, folks, pretty much got everything unpacked. Got the pellet grill laid down. One thing as I was taking things apart, uh, what I noticed was the thing that kept on coming back to me was heavy duty. And that's really what this is. If you look at the drip tray, that's eighth inch thick stainless steel. The same thing with the heat deflector, which are, these things are notorious for warping. This one is not going to warp. The way it's bent and the thickness of the material that's used, it is not going to warp. And the legs and the wheels, heavy duty. And here's a nice little thing. Instead of getting a blister pack and having to figure out what screw goes where, they put them all together for you so they know, number one, you got enough. Number two, that it's easy for you to use. So we're going to put these legs on, simple, easy as can be, and uh, we'll keep on going. You can keep on watching. All right, folks, uh, legs and bottom shelf are on there, all nice and tightened up. They do give you a, a kind of a wrench and some, and some Allens there. Uh, they do help. Uh, socket set makes it a lot faster, though. Uh, they do say to leave the bottom shelf until you got it stood up. I decided just to put it on so we don't uh, bend anything in the standing up portion of this although I would find it hard that anything would bend. These things are so heavy duty. So I'll get it on its, uh, on, on its four feet here and uh, get going with the rest of the installation. Stay tuned. Well, there she is all put together. Oh, isn't that a beautiful pillow grill? I'll tell you what, that is a nice looking pillow grill. Let's take a quick walk around the exterior, then we'll go through the interior. But we've got that nice big lid, stainless steel, eighth inch thick. And it, uh, the reason it's shaped the way it is, is to give you more room on the inside so you actually can stand up a couple beer can chickens in there. It's got the controller, the PID controller, folks. I've done a video on PIDs. Uh, what this basically does, it's different than a lot of other pillow grills, whereas that controller right there gets feedback from the temp probe inside the grill. And what it does, it adjusts the auger, which feeds the burn part, burn pot, and gets your temperatures, uh, well, they say within 10 degrees of set point, but my personal experience with this controller is it's more like five degrees. You got, you know, standard, uh, bottom shelf, heavy duty wheels, uh, cast, cast, uh, locking wheels on the front. Uh, on the side, we've got a nice little side shelf there. Uh, things can't roll off there. You can put your condiments on there. You can put whatever you want to put on there. Nice smokestack. High temperature paint. Nice glossy finish, just the way I like it. On the back here, you're wondering what all that is. That's the pellet dump. So if you want to change your pellets out, you've got a little that you can pull, and it'll you can drain it into a bucket. You can see how that is on the inside. There's that hole right there. That's where you can dump out your pellets. Heavy duty auger, heavy duty motor, heavy duty fan. I mean, this is better than anybody else makes. All made just for you folks. I'll tell you what. I tell you what, let's put this thing on the inside and t take a closer look at the components on the inside because that's where it's impressive. All right, folks, on the inside, there's a burn pot, stainless steel. It's a nine hole, meaning that there are nine holes to allow that fan to push air into here to keep those pellets burning. Why is that important? Because especially at lower temps, uh, it's difficult for some pellet grills, but not this pellet grill, to keep the temps going. So even when you're down low around 160-ish, because of those extra holes in there, it give us enough ventilation to keep it going. That silver thing sticking on the bottom, that's your hot rod. That's what gets things going. And your auger is right over there. So let's uh, put the rest of the components in there, give you a look-see at that. 
All right, now next up is the heavy duty heat shield that goes over the burn pot. That's stainless steel also. Now, people a lot of times say, well, is it real stainless steel? You can always tell, and I've got a magnet here. So this is steel on the side. Now let's, let's put it on the lid. So <laughs> that's real stainless steel, 100% stainless steel that they're using there. Not a stainless steel, you see it doesn't, it doesn't stick because it's real stainless steel. Real stainless steel won't stick. You can have all different grades of stainless steel. Some that claim are stainless steel actually have steel in it and they'll still rust. Big difference here, it's the little things that make this a special grill. All right, next, next into the grill is your drip tray. Once again, stainless steel, heavy duty, thick stuff. This will not warp as will, as you know, like that heat shield. That is made so heavy that it's made not to warp. And what that does is I usually cover, cover my own aluminum foil. It makes cleanup a little easier. Just takes the grease down and goes into a trough there and into a hole. Then it goes right into your bucket on the outside. Easy peasy. All right, and there's your grill grates. You got two of them come standard. Nice size, enamel coated, uh, 770 square inches of cooking space inside this pellet grill. That's really impressive. Remember, 30 pound hopper, that'll go all night. That'll go 24 hours, in fact, I bet. So uh, let's give one more look-see and then we'll wrap this up. All right, folks, let's wrap this up. A really nice pellet grill. Uh, I'm gonna do a burn-in with it. You gotta keep on watching because I'm gonna do some cooks on this. I've also got a whole bunch of cool accessories that Smoke Daddy Inc. makes, and we're gonna be showing you those. Folks, one of the most important, you know, things that impressed me the most is this. You, you get a warranty with this. When's the last time you actually got a warranty? You go and buy something these days, and they always ask you, would you like to buy the extended warranty? And you're thinking to yourself, why, do you know something? Uh, but here, look at three-year limited war warranty on the PID controller and any manufacturers, come on, focus, defects within three years. And then there's also a seven-year warranty. Now, this is big. Seven-year warranty covers all electrical mechanical components, excluding the PID controller, such as the auger motor, induction fan, hot rod igniter. Seven years, they're, they're, they're giving you a warranty for that. So I think that is impressive, and it's signed. You know what another cool thing is? You can call these people 24-7, and uh, it'll go to an, like an operator thing. Like I, you know, on a weekend, say you're having issues with your pellet grill or anything else you, you buy, and uh, it, it'll give you the option to, if you, have a, if you have a grilling emergency, please hold. And then you hold, and then next thing you know, Dennis, the owner of the company, picks up the phone. Where else do you get that these days, folks? I, th I think that's pretty impressive. So I'll tell you what, Smoke Daddy Inc., I'm going to leave the links down below. Uh, thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, folks, you know, I, I, can't appreci I can't say it enough. I honestly, truly appreciate you watching. And uh, stay tuned. you see more great grilling and reviews on Tom Horseman at YouTube.